Hey guys, Gunjin Pit, and uh, welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 3. I've been oh. looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your That's inconvenient. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thanks for ruining my intro. Um, so yeah, basically in the last episode, um, we whacked Cicero, who had gone crazy and attacked, uh, or tried to attack Astrid of the Dark Brotherhood. And before we went back to the Dark Brotherhood to tell her that we'd completed our mission, uh, we called in on Olav the Feeble here in Whiterun. Now, when we completed the um, the wedding mission, I think it was, we got given um, a special sapphire, which is a token, which we had to present to Olaf the Feeble, um, because she's kind of a uh, palm reader and that kind of thing, she can see into the future. And uh, what she told us, to be honest, uh, isn't looking good for the rest of the Dark Brotherhood, to be honest. Um, she kind of talked about the fact that um, she could see us in Dawnstar, in the Dawnstar Sanctuary, with a Nightwalker, which I assume is a vampire, so that would mean Babette, and also a Sandstalker, uh, which I assume is Nazir. Now, there's no mention of the rest of the Dark Brotherhood, so it's not a good sign. But one thing the um, the old crone did tell us is that there's actually some um, enchanted armour from um, a past Dark Brotherhood member. Uh, and I think it's kind of a random quest where it is. In our case, it's in Hag's End, which we've already cleared once. Um, it's a bit of a night nightmare. Um, so I thought we might as well do a hit and run. We'll just go there, grab this armour, and then get back down to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and continue with that quest line. Um, so that's basically the idea for this episode, and let's see how it goes. So, um, Hags End. Yeah, catch you guys in a second. Now we've got to be careful because we are in the middle of a Forsworn camp here. Uh, so first things first, let's get a bit organised. Um, Dragon Slayer is engaged. That's great. Um, we'll also might as well, oops, before I forget, check this note, because otherwise I'll forget to do it. You know what I'm like. Because uh, I got given a note in the middle of my intro. Um, is it this one? Letter from a friend. Uh, Gunnar Chimphammer. Uh, you caused a bit of a stir in Dragon's Reach when you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, pressed it by accident. Uh, not everyone is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I for one desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Kilkreath Ruins. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Or in other words, a word wall. <laughs> I'm yours sincerely, a friend. Okay, and uh, we also seem to have another one, so I think this might be the one we actually got. Yeah, there it is. Gunnar Chimpammer. Uh, you caused a bit of a stir in Dawnstar Sanctuary when you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Not everyone is anxious of the return of your dragonborn. Yeah, okay. Uh, I for one desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. So that's kind of uh, deja vu-ish. You should turn your attention to Highgate Ruins. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the dragonborn. Sincerely, a friend. Okay, so basically, um, as you go through the Skyrim, you'll get these... Um, letter from father, what the heck is this? My son, uh, oh yeah, it's that one. Um, so yeah, basically you'll get these as you go along, just uh, giving you a heads up as to where certain word walls are. Uh, I mean, you can't find them on your own just wandering around, but it's kind of nice to know where to look. So if we check the map, um, is it located? I think it is. Ah, okay, yeah, it's another one that we've already found uh, on our way to Winstad Manor, which is, if you remember, the plot of land we got uh, from Morthal where we're kind of semi-building one of the houses, that's part of the Hearthfire DLC. For now though, let's concentrate a little bit, and um, I'm going to disactivate that quest, and we're going to go get this um, Assassin's Armour. Okay, so let's see, we've already been through this place once, so hopefully you know, it shouldn't cause too many problems this time around. Four, everyone's dopey. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. Oh no, the mages this time, I know. I kind of prefer force one if I'm being honest. What? Whoa, where'd you work come from? Oh, 
probably that door. So anyway, um, I was expecting Force 1, we've got witches, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be dead witches. That's just the way we roll. Got to be careful though, because that Hag Raven's probably around somewhere. That's a nice shot. Straight to the head. Not bothering about the daggers anymore because I don't need to enchant at the moment. So they're worth a lot, but they also weigh a lot. So we'll take them. We'll take it. We have to ditch it. Hello. Any oh, bone meals that? Anybody at home? Major's robes, why not? So where'd that Hagraven go? This is the question. I don't want to jump it out on me. Guess we go up here. Oof, good job I've got a light foot. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Oh, there she is. Sit, sitting on the throne. Oh, don't do that. Warping thing. Man, I'm not following you halfway around this castle. I thought we cleared this, to be honest. Obviously not. I think we cleared maybe the first part of it, and then... Assassin of old, you preserve rather well. This is what we get the ancient shrouded cow, mostly 35% uh, more damage, uh, increased poison resistance by 100%. That's quite cool. Uh, whereas muffle the move silently as normal and double sneak attack. So that's pretty cool. Also, if you wear all of those together, you'll get an axe edit bonus as well. And there's a glass bow, keep that that. Ebony great sword, yes, please, and a glass sword. Nice. Shame about him though, he didn't really get very far, did he? So yeah, that's our mission completed. However, now that we're here, we might as well kill that annoying Hagraven that keeps zooming out of the place, just for the heck. Because then it'll be another place on our map that is completely cleared. So yeah, it looks like we're going from a pretty simple mission to a bit of a random one again. But then anyone who's been following this series now is probably used to that. And I must admit, it, you know, thanks for all your patience, guys. Because um, I know I can be a bit random sometimes with these things. Does anyone really fall for those traps, honestly? Oh. Yeah. I really can't be bothered wasting more lockpicks, so I'm assuming once we kill the Hagraven we'll get the key to that. Actually I've got an idea. <laughs> She's going down first. Huh? No, she did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of anti-climax. Oh, I get it. to do anything really does it so what we need to do is pull that chain to kind of close off one way to open up the next and uh, yeah I did absolutely nothing another master I'm not gonna bother 
Let's just kill this Hagrave and she's probably got the key to the whole place, I would have thought. Got to watch the weight though, because it is, uh, as always, creeping towards the limit. So. Thank you. That's a spell term, I think. Oh, I want the DN. Oh. Alrighty, let's carry on. Um, I mean, why would you even bother with that? There's nothing there. <laughs> I just want to kill this damn hag. Okay, she keeps sort of warping in and out of the place the whole time. How rude. Oh, I hear a world wall. So it's definitely worth coming in here. I obviously haven't cleared this place. So otherwise the world wall wouldn't be here. Oh, gimme give gimme. Give Slow time. Hmm. Another shot I'm never really going to use because, as you know, I did have the uh, steady eye perk on my bow, which kind of slows down time as well, and I just hated it. It was just too distracting. So, you know, each to their own. I know quite a lot of people do actually like that um, enchantment, but not me personally. So, you know, at the end of the day, Skyrim is kind of how you play it. Is a... Okay, so... Yeah, but there's a Hag Raven, so hopefully she's not going to go teleporting anywhere else. I hate these things, I can never see them. Right. Come on, Mrs. Hagraven, you can get some. And please tell me you have a key to this place on you. Man, <laughs> that's annoying. I was kind of hoping she'd have a key to those master locks we found, but obviously not. Interesting, though, seems she's sacrificing her own. Um, get these ice wraith teeth, and I think there's a chest round there. It is yeah. What's in here? Gold. Okay, now can I be bothered going through the animation on the master chest? Uh, yes, I probably can. Problem is, I need to remember where they are. <laughs> Got that. But it's good coming here. I mean, obviously, I thought I'd uh, cleared out Hag's End. For some reason, I didn't. Um, I can't remember why. Um, there must have been a reason for it, though. Whoop, hello. Why are you being so laggy? Man, that's painful. What the heck's going on? Okay, this is weird. Game, what's going on? Huh. Okay, for a moment there I thought I was playing on PC. <laughs> I've never seen uh, the Xbox lag before. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Master lock and the first attempt, but anyway, I'll take it. Got to admit though, it's pretty, pretty crappy loot for a master door. Anyway, that needs to close, this needs to open. Okay, what's that for? Okay, that's just random. I'm not sure what that's all about, but anyway, uh, this is all we want to try and get through. And hopefully this was worth it. Now there's a couple of drogas. And a trap. Nicely hidden. By that bag of gold coins. But, oops. Almost. Let's quickly get this open. And then, um, I think probably the best bet is we'll call it a video. And then um, we'll pick it up next time. Outside the, uh, the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Oh, come on. I do, I must admit, I really find picking locks tedious in this game. 
really wish there was the there was the option to just auto pick like there is on Oblivion. Sometimes you just don't have the patience. Um and it was hardly worth it. So yeah, that's that. Um this has all been looted, is it? Is it coming up as cleared? It is, excellent. Huh, okay, this must be in her bed chamber from all the high grade and feathers, I would have guessed. Whoa, where'd you come from? Oh, okay, what? It's supposed to be cleared. Which part of cleared do you not understand? <laughs> no, it's just... Ah, okay, yeah. Didn't check up there, did I? But anyway, this is supposed to be cleared, so I'm not sure why... They were still here, but anyway... That just nosing around the stuff. Take that. Another dragon scale helmet. Now it's starting to give me quite a decent loot actually. Although to be honest, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to try and craft my own just because I like to. Um, am I going the right way? Okay, down here. A lot of dead bodies, so that's how I know I'm on the right track at least. Whoops, missed that the last time. Another dead body and we're out. Hi guys, so it's been a bit of a oh hang on. Enemies are nearby. Phew, because I need to fast travel. Oh man fumbling now. Okay, let's go find out who's blocking us from fast travelling. Where's nearby enemy is because I want to kind of call it a video. I think he's doing archery over that side, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there he is. So hopefully we can get him in one go. Can we wait now? No, we cannot. Damn it, looks like I might have to fight my way out of this place. Oh man, okay, um... These are a quick way. Out of here. I can maybe just follow the river. Oops. I'll try to do something really stupid now. Well... That's so good. Now can I wait? No, I can't. Damn it. Whoops. Hello. Damn it. All I want to do is fast travel. And if I remember, yeah, this is where there's like a treasure chest and a troll that we killed on an earlier visit here. Fifty-two gun, perfect. So yeah, it looks like um, it's kind of annoying. Um, so all I want to do is really fast travel out of here. Don't really want to have to fight my way through everything again. But looks like I haven't got a choice. We're gonna have to go through deep would read out again but that's coming up on the next episode guys um i'm gonna call it here because i think this one's probably gone on long enough um hope you've enjoyed it like i say it's been a bit random again uh, but i just wanted to pick up that um that dark brotherhood armor before we go back to the dark brotherhood century and give astrid the good news about cicero's dead death and uh, not sure if we should tell her about um, all of the feebles vision of the future I probably might dampen the mood a little bit uh, but that's coming up on the next episode, guys. For now, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and peace.